um, Kiff and to Corny Chu, right? Kiff, 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 Runny, Fake, and the Kiff Empire. They've they've got a store here in London. Um, again, you know, the, the Kiff story has been told many, many a times. I don't need to tell you guys anything about it. Um, a really strong business, a really strong um, visionary at the helm in Ronnie, right? Someone that's been able to steer the ship. Um, through really murky waters or i don't know rough wars i think there was a period of time where kiff wasn't really the core brand right people kind of shit on him a little bit um there was a period of time when people t- took the piss out of the collaborations you know talking about you know only filipino sneaker infused that's kind of where the shoes and shit it didn't have a cool cachet but somehow or the other he's kind of rid the way he's been able to navigate out of that mer- out of those stormy waters and somehow he's become like i don't know like a state like i, I kind of look at kiff like champion if that if that makes any sense right they remind me of Champion. They're just like a solid brand. Well, Champion nowadays, right? And since the reva- re- since the revitalization, since it's been revitalized or revived since yeah, in a new era. I guess Champion back in the day was mostly a uh, thing for the heads, right? People used to buy Champion reverse sweep sweats even before Supreme was doing it, right? Um, they were just you know it was a thing in the industry. But I think Kif were Kif have basically established himself as a champion of that kind of sort, right? Because they make really good heavy qual- heavy sweats, right? Good quality basics, um, nice t shirts, and just generally have a good eye for detail. But one thing I think is really underrated about Kif's approach to anything is their sneaker collaborations, and it's, these Sakornis are good uh, um, episodes of it, right? I've never heard the Sakornis model. I've got to be honest, and I'm a sneakerhead, and I'll consider myself a, a sneakerhead in the purest sense of the word, where you know I'd go out and seek out trainers that no one else is actually wearing. Not just buying the thing that appears on the, you know, on the most, um, not 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 buying only the thing on StockX that's like the most uh, highly sold or highly coveted, but actually going out and buying sneakers that no one is actually wearing and making them cool, right? That's the whole aspect of being a sneakerhead. One aspect of being a sneakerhead. So what I really appreciate about Kip is that they're able to um, do collaborations with companies that aren't necessarily quote unquote cool, right? Um, or oh, aren't hype beast friendly, right? Because you know you're not really going to resell these to a huge swath of people. It's de- definitely for a niche, niche, niche environment, niche, niche, niche audience. But they're also able to kind of bring shoes back, like kind of revive them. And that's what I remember Pata doing back in the day. I remember Sawbox doing a lot with the New Balance the, um, collaboration, even Crooked Tongues back in the day. Football Choice do that as well, taking models that weren't really popular at the time and then kind of bringing them back into the cultural conversation and these Sakoni and Kiff shoes are amazing right so this this is an article from Hypebeast it says Kiff joins Sakoni to revive a white out grid web runner right again I've never heard of this shoe in my life grid web runner um, essentially a kind of dad shoe model ish kind of shoe I love the little arc here in the middle uh, sort of like plastic arc I'm assuming it's something to do with about the walking in terms of the heel and toe which probably isn't the best way to walk but you know less said about that the better um, a really nice upper. It's got this sort of like weird. I'm not sure if it's a two-tone uh, Sukorni logo there. At first, I thought it was iridescent or gel sort of logo, but it isn't. Which probably make it look 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 a little bit cheaper. But I quite like the look of that there. And again, just a really nice model. I quite like how that kind of you know arches there. Just kind of sees completely through it. That looks pretty cool. And again, a model that you don't really see um rock too often, and something that only Kif can really do in that respect. And again, just a really clever take on the shoe. I love how it looks. Um, again, I'd probably prefer a push. I'd probably say I would go for the, you know, I'd probably go for the all white pair. I like the all white pair. There's nothing that quite nice about that. It's completely translucent. It kind of looks see-through. It's so translucent, right? I'm not sure how they got that pearly white. There is real. There's a real science in achieving the perfect white for a sneaker collaboration, right? Or am I not talking sense? Like that kind of pearly off whitey kind of white color. I saw it. A lot with the Mars Yard I've got right over here from Tom Sachs. You remember these? Let me get this screen back up. So with the Mars Yard, right? Let me get this back up here so you can see. But with the Mars Yard, that I think it even started maybe with a, another shoe, maybe um, Virgil's um, um, Air Force Ones, the complex ones, right? For the complex con. You know the ones that he, he the, the the ones that weren't sold to GR. But I remember this being a thing, right? This kind of like kind of off whitey sort of like chalky white sole that picks up dirt again that's a real science or white and then again this mesh used to be white but it's obviously got supremely fucked up but it's a real science to achieving that kind of white color um it's different to like the white you maybe see on like a regular air force one right um which kind of this is a bit of more of a plasticky kind of shape but i like the idea that a lot of these brands are starting to really experiment with how they implement white in their trainers again maybe it's me geeking out and thinking of way too much into a topic but 
I think there is definitely an approach that they've done to it that's kind of achieved this kind of weird pearly white kind of color. Again, I think with these shoes, you just get standard white on the sole, so they're definitely a bit more of a flexy shoe, but I really like it. Um, Different mix of materials. I'm not sure if that's a suede on the upper there, but I really like them. I think this off all white color, it looks amazing. It reminds me of a really classic tennis shoe from back in the day, but again, so corny not a brand that i would consider the most coolest or hit brand in the world or for kids nowadays i wouldn't have a problem wearing it because I, I like to wear actual trainers but um again I'm, I, I'm i'm happy that they're kind of going with this kind of model and again as you can see with this model wearing them they're flipping amazing man i really like them. look at them in hand they look beautiful no such a nice shoe there um it's a corny shoe from from ronnie fag a classic i really again um not a lot of people give them credit enough for the collaborations that they do make but again these are uh, these are, were out last week june 28th so if you if you're out there and you want a pair of shoes that aren't the most hype shoes in the world but also aren't you know everyone's wearing technos everyone's wearing the same old shoes everyone's wearing those big fat feelers that are fucking butters if you're a girl and you're out and you want to get something that's a bit different um you know grab these man again you'll be the first to wear them it's, it's not something that everyone's gonna be wearing and essentially you're buying into an establishment that really knows that really kind of caters to sneakerheads right they're not out here trying to just make the most hype shoe of the world they're actually trying to provide people with shoes that are going to actually uh, serve a function in their wardrobe so definitely recommend you check that out um these corny's by um kiff out now and all your kiff retailers on that malarkey